Selena Gomez admits she didn't mean for her new album, Rare, to be vindictive, despite the fact that it basically is about her ex, Justin Bieber, who, by the way, was announced as the first lock performer for the 2020 iHeartRadio Music Awards. We've got a lot to discuss when it comes to these two exes, so stay right here for all the details. How's it going, guys? I'm Madison Hill. I know you guys are not a fan when these two are brought up in the same sentence, but unfortunately, that's where we're at with the latest news. Before I get into it, please give this video a share, double check you're subscribed, and don't forget that notification bell. First up for you, Selenators, let's get into one of Selena Gomez's latest interviews. Recently, Selena sat down with Apple Music to talk about her new album, Rare, that was released at the end of last week. During this interview, Selena opened up about this album being open and honest, and while she didn't come out and say Justin Bieber's name in regards to her fans being right and speculating that a lot of it was inspired by what she went through with him, she did heavily allude to the fact that it is. Saying, quote, it wasn't in a vindictive way, it was simply like, okay, I actually have my part to say. People will ultimately know where the inspiration came from, but then it kinda ends there. During the interview, Selena also commented on what it's like dating in the spotlight, saying as cliche as it is, everyone dates everyone within the same little Hollywood bubble. She went on to say the problem with that is, you end up having a relationship for people and not yourself, which forces you to decide at a point whether you actually want a relationship for you or if you're doing it for show. To me, that sounds like her and Justin's relationship went on longer than necessary because of others, but that's just a pure speculation, so let's talk about something we can confirm. Like the fact that Justin Bieber is officially the first artist locked to perform at the 2020 iHeart Radio Music Awards, making this his first award show performance since he made his musical comeback. The awards are set to air in March, so he definitely has enough time to get ready and hopefully release something new before then. For example, like the song he teased over the weekend with Quavo and Murda Beats, you never know what the Biebs is cooking up, but I know I'm definitely ready to hear something other than yummy. But that's just my opinion, and now I'm ready for yours. What was your reaction to Selena basically admitting her album was about the Biebs and that she didn't mean for it to be vindictive? Also, thoughts on Justin being named as the first performer for the iHeartRadio Music Awards? Let it out down below. For more on Justin and Selena, check out today's episode of The Morning Tea. We go live tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. In the meantime, you can shop our store and make sure you're subscribed.